journey continues. Here's John Stossel. Don't you hate those high deductibles on your health insurance? You have to pay thousands of dollars before your insurance company starts paying the bills. But what if I told you that having a high deductible is a good thing? Five years ago, the grocery chain Whole Foods switched to a different kind of health insurance, a policy that puts patients more in control. Because it's like, at last, I can go to that acupuncturist. At last, I can spend the money the way I want to spend it. That means employees like Braden Weirs must pay about $1,000 themselves before their insurance kicks in. If Braden gets cancer or heart disease, his insurance covers it. But if he has a sore throat or a sprained ankle, he pays. To help workers pay, Whole Foods puts money into an account for them. Braden got $1,500 this year. If he doesn't spend it on medical care this year, he keeps it. And the company adds more next year. And I have plenty of money left over so I can go get my new prescription glasses at the end of the year. HSA puts you in control. Most companies call these accounts HSAs, health savings accounts, or health reimbursement accounts. So you try this new system, and what happened? Our cost went way down. How are you doing today? But some employees were mad. They said, we want our full coverage back. When you go from a system where people are very dependent and now you're telling them, hey, you have to take more responsibility for your own health. That was frightening to them because they were going to have to be responsible for themselves. and They, they weren't going to be taken care of any longer. So you had a vote. The result was 77% of the team members voted for the health plan that we have today. Our CEO, John Mackey. Today, some workers have $8,000 in their health accounts. And then that's their money. It builds up over time. And so that's great because the money is compounding for them. I can save up my money and uh, afford to have a child later on. He controls the money. And as the money builds up, it can cover all sorts of future out-of-pocket expenses. And it changed behavior. They start asking how much things cost. They may not want to go to the emergency room uh, if they wake up with a hangnail in the middle of the night. Uh, they may schedule an appointment now. They didn't ask what things cost before. Why should they? Somebody else is paying for it. Thank you so much. When she went to the doctor, marketing director Marianne Buttrose never used to ask. Well, how much will this cost? Because it didn't matter. And I'll get someone to help. And now it matters to me because it's my money. It's my money. Since it's her money, some people worry that health savings accounts will discourage people from getting care they need. You don't get preventive care. You don't go to the doctor to, if you, when you've got something you think might be wrong. Maybe they economize by not getting health care that they need. The premise in those, in those kind of questions, John, are that people are stupid. They're not smart enough to make these decisions for themselves. It's sort of an elitist attitude. The individual is the best judge of what's right for the individual. And most individuals are making smart choices. People who have these high deductible health insurance policy take a lot better care of themselves. They'd have more yearly physicals because they're saying, if I keep myself healthy, in the long run, I'm going to be spending less money. Sherilyn Schmidt used her account when she wanted to get a physical. Since it was her money, she shopped around. She found prices varied by hundreds of dollars. If I had regular insurance, I would have never called around and asked for prices. I would have just walked in, showed my card, said, I need a physical and they would have given me a physical and I don't even really know what they would have given me because I, I would walk in and say I need a physical and they would say okay well this is what a physical entails done and the fact that she was paying changed the way she thought about that physical I started thinking well what am I getting for this price for twelve hundred dollars what am I getting I hear some doctors are saying gee nobody's ever asked me that before yeah and they don't often know I mean that shows you how dysfunctional a healthcare system is that People don't have the vaguest idea how much they're spending on health care, close to the closest ten or twenty thousand dollars often when they go to the hospital. And the sellers don't have any idea what it costs. We know what HEB is selling broccoli for right now, so we have to reflect our prices to the competition. But in health care, no one's trying to think, yeah, I'm going to cut five percent below that price so I can increase my business. Some say health care is different, it's too complex. We can't decide that. Gosh, you know, should we allow people to make decisions about whether they have children or not? I mean, that's a pretty important responsibility, having children. But I don't know anything about cancer treatments, which ones I should have. I don't know anything about cars. But if I go buy a Toyota or an Audi or a Lexus, I know I'm going to get a pretty good automobile because competition ensures it'll be that way. Which is why Americans buy Toyotas instead of Trabant. 
Of course, cars and cancer are different, but where there is competition, information resources like consumer reports and websites spring up to help consumers make decisions. As a sliver of competition has entered health care, similar resources are appearing rating doctors and hospitals. My favorite is the Espresso Sierra. John Mackey says this competition will improve health care, except so far not enough people shop for it. The doctor doesn't feel compelled to compete on price. The doctor doesn't worry that he's going to lose that business to, to a competitor down the street. So there really isn't any price competition going on. That's why he says despite their big initial savings, Whole Foods health care costs are creeping up again. But if everybody was out there asking doctors what things cost, if doctors were advertising their prices, we'd begin to see prices dropping. There's a lot of talk and arguing in the country right now about reforming health care. President Obama would have insurance companies cover more of our medical expenses and lower deductibles. But John Stossel argues that when people pay less, they eventually pay more. Uh, I need you, boy. You got me covered. The singer in this popular video sings. If you really want to be my man, boy, you got to put me on your health care plan. And politicians no, promise no, more no, health insurance no, coverage. They cover everyone. They cover everyone. Cover more people. But wait a sec. Health insurance means someone else pays your bills. When that happens, charts, charts. There's more paperwork. More here, here, everywhere. And this is where some of the money goes. This stuff is not free. This doctor pays four employees just to do insurance paperwork. On average, doctors spend 14% of their income on it. But that's just the first problem. The bigger problem is that with insurance, someone else foots the bill. So patients often don't care what things cost. The patients have insurance, they don't ask. They just say, some of them have to do this, do that. And some of the things they don't need to have done. Insurance was designed for big catastrophes like cancer or heart attacks, but now people expect it to cover everything. I need a flu shot, baby. I asked the video's singers and songwriter. You can get a flu shot at Walmart for about 20 bucks. Why not just pay for it yourself? Come on, everybody wants more and now and cheaper and better. And we need health care the way we need shelter and groceries. But think about that. What if you had grocery insurance? You wouldn't care what things cost. Why buy hamburger? I'll just buy steak. So why look for sales? I'll just buy everything. My insurance company's paying. We'd make a lot more money. You could raise your prices. We definitely could. John Mackey's founder of the chain Whole Foods. He laughs at how grocery insurance would change shoppers' behavior. <laughs> They'd buy a lot more instead of buying a bottle of wine for $7.99, they might buy a $300 bottle of wine. And yet this is how we pay for health care. I know. It's ridiculous. Now the president says insurance companies should cover more. He wants to reduce copay. It will limit the amount your insurance company can force you to pay out of your own pocket. That sounds nice. We can get free acupuncture. How about the diet? I don't need none of those fancy. You want some LASIK, baby? LASIK? Wait a second. That surgery is one of the few that insurance does not pay for. Okay, you can open your eyes. And guess what? LASIK keeps getting cheaper. That looks great. In every other field of medicine, the price is going up faster than consumer prices in general. But the price of LASIK surgery on average has gone down by 30%. Prices drop because without insurance payments, patients shop around to get the best deal. I can't get away with not telling the patient how much exactly it's going to cost. No one would put up with it. A and a difference of $100 sometimes makes their decision for them. I started thinking, well, what am I getting for this price? Sherilyn Schmidt also thinks about prices because now she has to pay for routine care. She works for John Mackey's grocery chain, which offers health savings accounts that include high deductible insurance. If workers get cancer or heart disease, insurance pays. But for the smaller stuff, they pay. It's my money. When marketing director Mary Ann Buttrose went to the doctor, she never used to ask, Well, how much will this cost? Because it didn't matter. And I'll get someone to help. And now it matters to me because it's my money. At last, I can go to that acupuncturist. At last, I can spend the money the way I want to spend it. You try this new system, and what happened? Our cost went way down. Because it changed behavior. 
they start asking how much things cost. They, they may not want to go to the emergency room uh, if they wake up with a hangnail in the middle of the night. They didn't ask what things cost before. Why should they? Somebody else was paying for it. Sherilyn Schmidt used her account when she wanted to get a physical. Since it was her money, she shopped around, found prices varied by hundreds of dollars. If I had regular insurance, I would have never called around and asked for prices. But it's hard to find out the price. So I, I'm trying to find out how much it's going to cost. Computer before. programmer Mark Horn has four kids and an insurance policy with a $5,000 deductible. So he wants to know what things cost. When I blogged about how insurance raises costs, he emailed to say insurance makes it impossible for him to find out what things cost. We currently accept Aetna, Blue Cross and Blue Shield, United Healthcare, MedCost Preferred. This recording says what insurance they'll take. But if you want to pay cash? PHCS, Alliance, PPO, Medicare, Mamsie. The physician themselves never know. So they may refer me to the front desk. If you know your party's extension. But they usually don't know the cost either. Every other service that I use, they tell me what it costs. The business office, press two. But with healthcare, it's not like that. It's, it's just a crapshoot. He can't even find out what things cost. Right, that's a big part of the problem. Patients are in a black hole. Michael Tuffin speaks for the health insurance lobby. We've had a system arise over many years that is not transparent. It's not transparent because of you. Here's a graph of how what the person pays has dropped mm -hmm. and how health care costs have risen. Mm -hmm. Isn't one causing the other? Well, there's no question there needs to be some personal responsibility. When where you're involved, there's less personal responsibility. When we're involved, there's protection against de the devastating cost of serious illness. But don't you admit this does cause people to overuse health care? No, I don't think people are waking up in the morning going, gee, how do I get myself into the hospital today? No, of course not. And it's good that insurance covers catastrophes. But when insurance pays for everything, customers can't push providers to lower costs. I have almost no ability to influence them. I have no ability to say to Dr. A, I don't like the price of your service, I'm going to Dr. B. I just can't do it. And the reason is because somebody else is paying for it. Why on earth for health care do we, as a society, think somebody else should pay for it? We don't think that about groceries. We don't think that about cars. We don't think that about anything except health care.